Well, we posted a little tweet earlier saying that we would be joined by Roxanne Pallet. We got hundreds of furious replies because apparently we shouldn't even be putting our next guest on the air. Such is the fury Roxanne generated with her behavior inside the celebrity Big Brother house. And she joins us to explain. Welcome to you. Shall we just run through what happened? Is that the best way to start? You took exception to your fellow housemate, Ryan Thomas, the ex Cory actor, playfully punching you. Seemed playful. Is, is that right? Should we take a look at it? Okay, let's have a look here. Ryan, yeah. I've got a clean want... towel. I, my clean, I've got a little what? towel that I'm going to use. Oh! Woman beater. Go on, what? Did it, sorry. I was going to ask you if you want your washing on, but I might shrink them instead. I might shrink them. <laughs> now, because that's quite long range, I couldn't tell whether he, he touched you or not. It looked as if he didn't. Yeah, he did. Okay. Um... We've got some slow-mo, I think, on oh. it. Let's just have a look. All right. So he did, but it didn't, did it hurt? At the time it hurt, but when I looked back on that footage, as soon as I left the house, it was the first thing I did was view that, that clip and I got it wrong. Yeah. I really got it wrong. Let's have a look. When you were back in the Big Brother house, I think you, you went into the diary room and mm. you registered your unhappiness here. I just need to talk to somebody in production about something that's just happened made me feel really uncomfortable. He actually punched me like a boxer would punch a back. And we weren't play fighting, we, there was no... He wasn't banter, it wasn't a joke, there was no exchange. Big Brother just wants you to know you are being listened to. Big Brother doesn't want you at all to feel like you're not being listened to. Can't believe you're letting somebody stay that's done that. It's not okay. Why were you crying there? After it happened, I just felt like, I don't know how to explain it other than my mind ran away with me. I am a sensitive person, only my family and friends can vow for that. And everything in that house becomes so heightened. A look, a comment, an action, you, your insecurities are heightened, your sensitivity. And all I can say, the only thing I can explain it with is, in the moment, it felt worse than it was. Mm -hmm. My, I can't prove a feeling. I can't show you a feeling. You, you said he'd been punching you repeatedly and deliberately. It was, it was the word deliberately that I regret. Yeah. Massively. And Ryan was understandably upset at your yeah. accusation. So we just have a look at his reaction now. I've done nothing, I've done nothing. Ryan, just take a deep breath for Big Brother. I just don't understand how she can do this. I don't understand it. I've just got to get, I've got to get this show back on the road now and I've got to make, for make amends. And... What would you say to Ryan, Roxanne? I massively apologise to not just Ryan, to his family, his friends, his fans, every single person that watched that and completely and justifiable, justifiably saw an overreaction to what wasn't a malicious act. In that moment, because I am sensitive and I was emotional, I mistook what was playful and he did apologise for it, and he did say his ring caught me. And it was the word deliberate that I regret, because I doubted his intention, and there, w there was no malicious intention behind that. And that's what I apologise for, because I shouldn't have questioned his motivation. I got but it wrong. There's been, there's been a torrent of mm -hmm. abuse, actually, directed at you. Yeah. And I think maybe the reason is that people know that if there had been no camera there, mm -hmm. that would be the end of Ryan's career mm -hmm. completely. Because mm -hmm. it's an allegation he can't disprove. No. He so, couldn't disprove his intention and I couldn't disprove or prove the feeling. But when I've, since I've been out of the house, the first thing I did was look at the clip and speak to my family and reflect in a normal environment because it was not a normal environment in there. 
my judgment was clouded, my sensitivity was heightened. I wasn't thinking straight. And that's something I'm gonna have to go away and work on. I need to become a better person. And this, this has gone big now. Be mm -hmm. And it's gone big because it's not just about Celebrity Big Brother, no, it's mm -hmm. about Me Too, it's about mm -hmm. false accusations. Yeah. You've even had the former chief prosecutor, Nazir Afzal, tweeting that your actions encourage those who play down the enormity of mm -hmm. domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Is he right? I understand that view. I understand and I agree fully with every single person who was outraged by my reaction. But what massively. about the domestic violence point? I've actually been a victim of domestic violence years ago. I've spoken out about it briefly. I've, I've seen closely. what you've said. You describe some of what happened because I know you've spoken mm -hmm. publicly. I've worked with Women's Aid because of my own experience and perhaps they were right in their recent comment that my reaction was perhaps a telltale sign of the fact that I have been in a situation like that and in, in my life I have become conditioned, I'm oversensitive to certain things because of things like that but I would, I'm devastated, I would be mortified to think that even one person out there felt that I'd discredited or undermined abuse because that is not my that was not my intention well, and that is not what women's aid did defend you yeah. and that you will have seen that because they said actually it's a complicated situation mm -hmm. you may have yourself been a victim in the past and actually even something playful some mm -hmm. sort of shadow boxing around you could bring it all back it felt foreign to me all i can say is that in that moment my emotions and my thought process was greater than the action. And looking back, I absolutely overreacted. I was out of order. I got it wrong. Well, you can't, you can't apologize more powerfully than that, really. And all I can do is And you take, must regret it terribly. I, because you've got- Massively regret. You're now dealing, yeah. Alistair's seen this in the past, when this torrent of abuse comes. I, in fact, yours is particularly bad today. Mm -hmm. It's thousands. You've mm -hmm. gone off Twitter. I've had to take a massive step back from everything don't look in my at it. life. I can't look at it, but I don't blame everyone. I understand if I'd have been at home watching this, I would have been confused by my reaction. I've also had to realise that I'm quite an animated person and I'm dramatic and I'm all of the things people are calling me. I am. They're my character traits that I need to look at and investigate and and better myself because this is a serious subject and I, it's become something that I need to really focus on now in, in an attempt to not just rebuild my, my career but rebuild m my personal life. This is something that's now overshadowed everything because it's a serious issue to me. I, I'm taking this massively seriously and all I want to do now is reassure everyone that I'm well aware that I overreacted. I apologise massively to every single person that I offended, everyone that I disappointed and the fact that I doubted the intention behind the action. Jamelia, come, come in here because you've been listening very um, intently. Yeah. Um Yesterday, I, I mean, I hadn't been watching Big Brother and obviously I uh, heard that you were coming on the show. So um, I had to, I yeah. went back and watched the episodes and I have to say like, it was, it was triggering for me. I've been a victim of uh, domestic violence and this might sound like a horrible thing to say, but I feel like in this instance, you were the perpetrator and I know your history. I've spoken to you before about it. And so it's, um, it's difficult to, 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 to see you in that role, but I think it's important that you understand how that behaviour mm -hmm. was triggering. Um, you, sorry, one it of, was triggering, Roxanne's behaviour was triggering. Roxanne, no, her behaviour to, uh, towards Ryan and to discredit him, as much as I understand where you're coming from and your perspective, um, and I understand the oversensitivities, I've got a big thing about, I can't, I can't have people shout, if someone shouts, I really react badly. Um, but. I saw what you did to him as an act mm -hmm. of violence and, and I, I can't imagine being in your shoes. What I would say and what I would like to know is that you will get help because you, 
you need help to deal with these emotions so that you don't have that impact. Mm -hmm. I think it was so heartbreaking to see the impact that you had on Ryan. And um, being honest, I actually made my daughters watch the episodes also because I thought as awful as this situation was, it was an example of, you know, of, of kind of what not to do. So, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know how it feels to hear that from me, but I... I want you to know that I do actually think that good can come of this situation. I really do admire and respect your honesty. And um, and I, th I think it's very important that you have apologised mm. um, and just try and, you know, get help and, and, Alistair, and just ensure you do sorry, make let, something great out Let me just bring in Alistair because I know we brought you up to speed with this whole thing. You, you've missed a couple of episodes of Celebrity <laughs> Big Brother. A <laughs> couple of years. Um, yeah, a couple yeah. of years, yeah. What no, do you think? Because you know, you know exactly what's well, happening. Well, I, I, I wasn't even aware, okay? I was aware of this thing going on in the background, but I wasn't aware. I've, I've never watched Big Brother, Celebrity or otherwise. I've got no interest in it. I actually think that there's a... There's a re one of the problems with these reality TV shows, I think this is what they are about. They try to create mm -hmm. these dramas. I think they take people and they try to make them into, into celebrities and then they try to, to, to make them fall apart. Now, I really I believe that and, and I totally get your point about the heightened... Mm -hmm. uh, the only one I've ever done, this is going to sound ridiculous, but I, for charity, I did The Comet Relief Does The Apprentice when Piers Morgan, it was down to Piers Morgan and I who got fired and thankfully Piers did. <laughs> but the, that point about things that normally wouldn't get to you suddenly do when you've got this thing going on. But all I can say is I met, we had a chat outside, I've seen you now. Uh, I do think we've got a real problem in this country with this idea that we, we are entitled to abuse people mm. just because we've seen them very briefly, very fleetingly do something. And then we create this storm. And all I'll say to you is, those people who are tweeting abuse at you today, next month it'll be something else. It's, and it will pass. We, we, we're getting a lot of calls from, from people saying, you're, you're doing this to protect your career, this interview. So just answer that because they, they wonder if you're saying what you feel you have to say mm. rather than what you mean. I chose to be here today. In fact, I was advised not to. I'm not getting paid for this interview. I wasn't told to do this interview. In fact, it's been the hardest thing I've ever had to do is come here today. It's affected my family, my friends, the people that have detached themselves from me. This is, this is my reality now. And I'm here today to acknowledge a mistake. Gosh, that, that's a line I'm not going to forget. This is my reality now, mm. and to show well, this, this is reality, this is the real world, yeah. indeed. Yeah. And little things, little things that happen in a television program can blow up yeah. out of all proportion, yeah. frankly. And, it, and um, I, I was the reason it blew up. Well, I, I, did, I, I would take issue with out of all proportion because I think there's a massive thing going on with me too, which mm -hmm. is the idea that for years and years women have accepted, you know, have been attacked mm -hmm. or and others have turned away and at last we've got a spotlight on it. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a backlash to it now mm -hmm. uh, and that's part of this, which is the feeling that actually men are being blamed for yeah. too much. Is that what's going on? I understand that massively. I see the importance of speaking out as and when you need to, but I also see the confusion attached to people overreacting, making light of something serious, and it does discredit and undermine the people that have genuinely been through it. And I am one of those people that's genuinely been through it. And What's amazing as well is, is Ryan's reaction to your accusation. Mm -hmm. He realised the power of that. Yeah. In today's society, if you're accused of that, mm -hmm. it's game over. And I've, I've known people that have been falsely accused of things, and I've been that person that has kept quiet when... I should have spoken up and in my earlier teen years and early 20s, I bottled a lot of things up and I've almost gone the other way now and I've flinched at somebody invading my personal space when I was already very sensitive and my mind ran away with me. Mm. Who should we feel most sorry for now? You, you Ryan. or Ryan? Ryan. Ryan. Okay. I, I can't apologise enough to Ryan. To I do, everybody I'm at... attached to him, and to, but to every single person that watched it. I agree. Do, do you think that you need to get help? I think, I don't think I realise how sensitive I was. Mm. And because you, 
we're all kind of used to the people around us mm. taking it as normal. My family, my friends, my fiance, my mum, they're used to how sensitive I am. But because I was taken out of my family environment and put into a situation where those people in those in the house, they didn't know what I'd been through. They yeah. didn't know my feelings, my thoughts. They didn't know my Richter scale. And they, so they weren't prepared. Right. And I right. understand that. And Just all the people I, judging me, they didn't know. And I rightly so uh, accused me of being dramatic and, and and overacting and almost discrediting Ryan. And I agree 100%. Okay. And I'm I, I don't sorry, want it was to, a horrible mistake. I don't want to, to bring you any lower, but it's interesting that in the, today's papers, you're getting attacked by co-stars who've worked <laughs> with you in the past. And I don't know to what extent you're... You're aware. Are they not just playing into the oh, whole no. movie? Yeah, and maybe it's, it's unfair to, to say that. But is there some sort of history there that we should be aware of? Just it's I just. I think a we thing. all. I think we all make friends and enemies along the way in life and in in jobs. And unfortunately, when you make mistakes, there's a lot of people that want to, mm. you know, contribute to the backlash. And no, Sergio, but you see us about okay. whether. You advise people. I, I think you've done the right thing. Do what you've done, and, and I've, I can only judge on having met you outside and seen you here. I can feel. You can sometimes get a sense if people yeah. are just spinning a line to coin a phrase. I don't get that feeling here. Did you have it's you have you I'm... been walking around for a long time as somebody who, if somebody does a play fight around you, you get nervous. There's Is been that the effect of all the, the violence that you there's, suffered. There's been instances in my career and my life where I've spoken up immediately. I've I've become that person that uh, a first initial sign of danger or upset, I will absolutely highlight it. And I've spoken to young girls and with women's aid in the past, educated people about speaking up if they feel uncomfortable. And I went too far this time. But do, do you think more broadly, off the back of Me Too, that there are lots of men mm -hmm. facing false accusations? I think male or female, there will always be a handful of people that get unfairly discredited when the situation's actually not intentional. And I'm heartbroken that I've contributed to distress in Ryan. And I just hope that people can forgive me and that hope that Ryan can forgive me in time.